Okay, what's up guys, my name is Forger, today I'm going to be going into detail today on the new Wukong Online update that just came out, 1.21. So the new update has uh, brought us a few um, heavily desired systems, um, such as the trading system. So this, the introduction of this system has obviously been long awaited because without it so many scams have occurred and it's been quite easy to scam. Um, without the system. So the system allows for gold, diamonds, and up to eight items to be traded safely. Um, the system is triggered by both parties of the trade clicking trade at once, so you do need to either um, like get together on Discord or just through the chat on Require Mine itself. So when you agree with the items to exchange, you have to click the trade button. Doing so will ask you to confirm your trade, and if during the um, trade confirmation the other character adds or removes items the um, the items will no longer be able to be traded and the trade will um, fail so it is pretty much scam proof but I am sure in some ways scammers will figure it out um, the next we have this new um, what seems to be a pretty shitty attempt from Ricardo at a stamina system so this is an attempt against the uh, account shares, who are clearly sharing with six plus people to get as many stat points as possible. Um, so the system limits a uh, number of hours a person can uh, gain experience or level in a day, uh, skill experience or level in a day. Uh, you can find your stamina in your stat page under your diamond count. It's in big, bold, green text for some reason. It's pretty cool, I guess, but when you attack, uh, the first time you attack a monster, the timer will start counting down. And if it reaches to the end of the countdown, you no longer earn any sort of XP or skill of any kind. Um, if you go um, inactive for 30 seconds or more um, without attacking uh, monsters, your stamina counter will go down for two seconds, or will go down two seconds for every one second. So for four seconds, that would only take two. Um, if your counter is above 24 hours, your stamina um, will increase by um, one every 10 seconds. In addition to that, if you have uh, 24 hours plus on your counter, you get 50% bonus on level and skill experience, which personally I think is really fucking dumb. 10% would make more sense compared to 50. 50 is just way too high. And uh, the max um, amount the counter can be at is 26 hours, at which point the counter will just stay at 26 until you hit a monster. Um, and last but not least, um, for systems that have been introduced, um, we also have a new boss drop system. So when you go um, fight bosses now, you build up points on each boss independently. So points on the Goblord won't um, count for general Krinog. Um, points are obtained by interacting with boss battles in ways, so healing, um, attacking minions, healing other players, or just attacking the boss directly. The points are only used to tell the probability of getting a boss drop, and um, the probability of you winning boss um, boss drops now is your boss points divided by the sum of boss points of all other um, players engaged in the battle. Meaning if you're not going um, if you're not going to a lot, you're not gonna get a fair chance because other people are gonna have a sum higher sum than you. But even still you're probably not gonna get a boss drop. But if you do win a boss drop by some miracle, even a key, like if you get a Liz key, your boss points will still be um, set to zero. Doesn't matter what drop you get, but um, with a, whatever key you get, um, your points will set back to zero for that respective boss. If you don't get a um, if you don't get a drop, your boss points will keep adding up until you do. After every battle from now on, as well, you will get a message telling you how many people took part in the boss battle, so you can be mad about how unlikely you are to still um, not get a drop. They, um, they also switch some rarities on training weapons because we have two different types of training weapons and I believe they were the same color before this update so now they've switched it up so that um, they're more like fitting to their status. 
So to summarize, they still haven't done anything in the last eight months. Um, personally, myself, I think the first and third system, the trade system and the boss drop system at least should have both been introduced right as soon as the game was released. I get it's an indie game, but these seem like a, seem like pretty standard things to have on the game built the way Ruko is. The stamina system should just be more optimized because account share should be a problem, but that's fine. So, um, 2.0 has been in development now for well over a year, and even with this update, R Ricardo still hasn't even dropped a single word on Reddit. He didn't even make an update for this update yet on Reddit. Um, so that's been the video guys it has been a little one but i will be tackling some more um subjects going on in the community um in the coming days so if you're interested feel free to subscribe guys and until next time it's been forger and i'm home